perfect. Like. SJH. Today is Friday, May 6, 2022, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Hadley. Hello, happy Friday to all. I'm Cece. And hello, I'm Savannah. Now it's time to stand with Mrs. Derbyshire's class and place our right hand over our hearts and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Only five more days until Wednesday, May 11th, to get registered on Pledge Star for the Funathon $100 Amazon gift card drawing. Register on the link in this more. Yes, get registered. We move up another level on the reward chart. We have to have the track open now. So we've earned having our phones out, hanging out with Mr. Aviator, and we get to have fun on the track. I would love to get the next level to earn a DJ. Music would be a lot of fun. Let's see. Looks like we're at the $5,100 mark. We have to double this amount to get the DJ. Let's make it happen in Sycamore Junior High. Only seven more days till May 13th, a fun -a That's a week from today until fun, fun, fun. Looking forward to it. Now, what national day do we have today? Today is National Nurses Day. National Nurses Day is observed annually on May 6th. On this day, we raise awareness of all the nurse Con contribution, contributions, commitments, and acknowledge the vital role nurses play in, this, in society. This day is also the first day of National Nurses Week and sometimes is known as National RN Na Recognition Day. National Nurses Week begins May 6th, ends May 12th, which is the birthday of Florence Nightingale. May 12th, 1820 through August 13th, 1910. Florence Nightingale was celebrated was a celebrated English social reformer, statistician, and the founder of modern nursing. She became well known while taking care of the wounded soldiers during the Crimean War. Nightingale was dubbed the Lady with the Lamp because of her habit of making rounds at night. Now for the fact of the day. Did orca. you know that the smartest animal in North America is the orca, or better known as the killer whale? Today's daily survey. So yesterday's survey asked what your favorite day of the week is. And it was a very close race between Friday and Saturday. But Saturday came out on top with 47 of the votes. 47% of the votes. Don't forget to check out today's daily survey. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Michaela M, Emma S. Also happy birthday to Madison C, Amelia C, Walter S, Walter T, Quincy W, Blake S, Ishan S, Shiera S, who will all be celebrating during the weekend. We hope you all have a wonderful day to celebrate your special day. Now the long-awaited Mr. Heil Chubby Bunny Challenge with helpers Josie and Harper. Hello, I'm Harper. And I'm Josie. We have some more results. That's right. Today we have Mr. Heil's Chubby Bunny Challenge. Let's see the results. Oh, legs are sore. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating! That's field damage. Go on, the back. the winner. Go! What's our results? Nine. Oh, nine and ten? Okay.
Uh, all right, what's the count? We got. You go one, two, three. Uh, do you have four, yours? Eight, nine, 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 Did you get yours? It's a tie! It's a tie! So far, Jamal has beat Mr. Heil, uh, Becker has beat and Mr. Heil and Connor have tried. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and now the best part the final results. Okay, we have Mr. Heil against Jamal. Mr. Heil had eight marshmallows and Jamal had 11 marshmallows. So Jamal wins. Then we had Vector against the red team. Vector had 10 marshmallows while the red team had nine. That was a tight match, but Vector won. Then Mr. Heil went against, went again, but this time against Connor. And they both tied at 13. So overall, the winner is? Connor and Mr. Heil. Congrats. Okay, Nikolai and Ollie, what's our top 10 today? Welcome to this week's top 10. Last week we couldn't have a top 10 because of ear testing. And we didn't have any time. But this week, the top, the topic is top 10 deadliest animals. I'm Nikolai. And I'm Ollie. Let's start with number 10. Look away if you're going to feel sick with these pictures. At number 10, we have tapeworms, which kill around 1,500 humans per year. They are actually parasites that can cause organ and tissue damage. At number 9, we have roundworms, which kill about 2,700 humans per year. They're also parasites that cause stomach pain, fever, and diarrhea. We have scorpions at 8th place, which kill 3,500 humans per year. As most of you know, scorpions are arachnids that are venomous. Testy flies are next at number 7, which kill 10,000 humans per year. They can cause fever, severe headaches, extreme fatigue, and aching muscles and joints. At number six, we have assassin bugs, which kill 12,000 humans per year. This is a bug that carries harmful parasites and deadly venom. Next at number five, we have freshwater snails, which kill 20,000 plus humans per year. Freshwater snails carry a periastic disease with a long name, schistosomiasis. At number four, we have sand flies, which kill 24,200 humans per year. Sandflies are known for their painful and itchy bite, which can last for a few days or weeks. Here comes top three. Drum roll, please. Number three is dogs. They kill 35,000 humans per year. Surprisingly, dogs can tr transmit viral and bacterial infections, such as rabies. It can also spread harmful germs. Number two, snakes. They kill 100,000 humans per year. Wow. Snakes can kill within minutes, especially some species such as the python and other venomous snakes. At number one, we have mosquitoes who kill 750,000 humans per year. That is mind-blowing. They have the capacity to transmit deadly diseases through lethal viruses. We hope you liked this week's top 10. Don't forget to answer the survey questions on what your favorite video games are, as we will be closing those next Tuesday. Thanks for watching. I'm Nikolai. And I'm Ollie. And that was Top 10. See you next week. What's for lunch today? For lunch, we will have a mashed potato bowl. We'll also serve hamburgers and cheeseburger. Did you know today's the anniversary of the last airing episode of Friends? That's really interesting. Wait, isn't it George Clooney's birthday today? Yeah, fun fact, George Clooney made a guest appearance on the show Friends in episode, the one with two parts, part two, as Dr. Mitchell. Wow, what a coincidence. Okay, now for the joke of the day. What did the laptop say of his father? I don't know, what? Hi, Dada. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Go Waves! waves.